From Durham, North Carolina, you're listening to Cocktails Under Quarantine. My name is Suzanne. I've been making craft cocktails in my home kitchen for friends and family for several years now. And during this time of the pandemic, I've been asked by popular request to make videos so that I can share some of my famous cocktails with you, the home viewer. Tonight, I'll be making one of my favorites, Milk Punch. So to start with, I'm going to take my handy dandy shaker, and this is not a Boston shaker, it's a screw shaker. Um, one day I'll learn how to use a Boston shaker like a real bartender. And Milk Punch, the alcohol I'm going to use to, in it today is bourbon. This is Four Roses bourbon, and a lot of people say that Four Roses yellow label is not very good. Um, maybe it's not something you would want to use for drinking neat, but I think for mixing it's totally fine. You can make Milk Punch with bourbon, you can also make it with brandy, that's really good dark rum, or even whiskey. So to start with, we'll take two ounces of our bourbon, and we'll measure it. And this is a jigger that I got at Morgan and Ports in downtown Durham. I really like it. It's got all the measurements in quarter increments from a quarter ounce all the way up to two ounces. So I'm going to add that to my shaker. Okay. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add the sweetener. The sweetener I'm going to use today is maple syrup. So if you have this at home, great. If not, you can use simple syrup, which is super easy to make. All it is is equal parts water and sugar. So you can take a cup of water, a cup of sugar, boil it on the stove until the sugar dissolves, and then cool it. So you take your maple syrup. I'm going to be using half an ounce of the maple syrup today. Gives us a nice maple flavor. That makes it a little more interesting, a little more special, a little more um, craft like. Simple syrup's fine too, but you know, I have maple syrup, so well, why not use it? And then I'm gonna add an egg yolk. So this gives it a really um, rich kind of eggnog like quality, and I'm totally fine with using egg products, raw eggs in my drinks. Um, that's a matter of personal preference. I really think that the risk of getting sick is actually quite low, but if you're not comfortable with it, you can leave it out. So I've added my egg yolk, and then I'm going to add two dashes of vanilla extract. So honestly, I don't really, I don't really measure it. I just pour a little bit into the cap. It's probably two dashes is, a, is um, a quarter of a teaspoon. So just add that in. Add some flavor. And then we're going to be adding the creamy part because it is milk punch after all. So I'm going to be using whole milk. Don't use skim milk, that's disgusting. Two ounces of whole milk. And I like to, as you can see, as I add each, each ingredient, I set it to the side. You know, I like to clean up after myself while I work, keep everything neat. And also, if you put the ingredients away, you add them. And then I'm going to add um, one ounce of heavy cream to make it really rich and delicious and special. One ounce of heavy cream. In you go. Okay. So, shaking is a really important part of cocktails. Most cocktails are either shaken or stirred. This is a shaken cocktail. And usually people do a wet shake, so that's a shake with ice. However, because there's an egg yolk in there and I want to have my egg yolk nice and, and mixed up and dispersed, I don't want to get a plump egg, I'm going to do what's called a dry shake first. So that's a shake, an initial shake with no ice. So I'm going to shake it pretty good for about 15 seconds. Okay, great. So it's now it's nice, and, nice and shaken. The egg, egg yolk should be emulsified. So I'm going to take the top off, and now I'm going to do my wet shake. I'm going to add my ice. And I'm using here, I'm using um, cubed ice. You want to use pretty big ice. You don't use, um, this is not crushed ice. So I'm going to add my cubed ice. And, okay. Now I'm, I'm going to add the ice up to about this level, okay? Because you, you want it to get, um, you want it to get nice and cool, but you don't want it to get overly diluted. And so again, shake for about 10 seconds. Okay, so we are 
all shaken up. And now it's time to serve the cocktail. So I'm using a rocks glass for this. You don't need something with a lot of volume. So I'm going to press in the top of my shaker so that I can strain it. So, oh, and let's add, um, let's add our cube dice. So we're gonna, come on. We're gonna add our, our, our cube dice in here so it'll stay nice and cool. And we're gonna pour in, oh, delicious. It's got a beautiful color. You can see it's got that kind of golden color from the egg yolk. Okay. And then the last step is the garnish. Garnishes are really important. Um, some drinks don't have them, but most drinks do. Um, people say that you you first experience the drink with your, your, your eyes and your nose. And so having a pretty garnish, um, you know, it looks nice and it adds a little bit of it's a little bit more special. So I'm, my garnish for today is um, freshly grated nutmeg, which kind of goes with that whole wintery seasonal egg donkey type vibe. So there you have it, the milk punch made with bourbon. So I'm gonna smell it and then I'm gonna have a taste and we'll do some brief tasting notes. It's really good. Um, it's not too sweet, but it's full of flavor. It's got the, the scent of the nutmeg. It's, um, it's creamy, but it's lighter and more refreshing than a conventional eggnog. And it's just super delicious and super easy to make with things that you have in your home. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks. Bye-bye.